I just want to know what happened. He comes back around. I want you to get close. It's a homicide investigation. Stay away from my case. No. It's getting good, people. This was a pretty jam-packed episode. This was episode six of Hightown, The White Whale. We're gonna break it down and we're gonna do it in the top five WTF moments. I've got my wife. We're three weeks away from delivering ale. Be sure to look out for the new Ale Baby YouTube channel coming soon. And if you're finding us for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on those notifications because they've been turning them off because they have those new rules about children. So a lot of y'all haven't been getting the notifications because YouTube automatically turned them off. Follow me and the fellas live. Me and Larry will be doing the Shy Tomorrow Live. The number five WTF moment, honey. This is one you had in question, but that I knew was going to happen. They find Krista dead. They find, they physically show her, her dead body. And her face bashed up. It was an ugly scene. What'd you... <laughs> Why, why did you think she was going to live in the first place? I was, because I wanted her to, I don't yeah, know. Mm -hmm. And I thought they were going to just, you know, continue to carry that storyline forward. But I guess they're going to do it without her. Right. Yeah. So they find Krista dead. And in that scene, um, Officer Sabaho is questioning some of the women. And it's clear that this hotel is a hotel of mischief, mayhem, sex, and drugs. Mm -hmm. And then Jackie pulls up in a police car and she is really shook up because she felt like she had an opportunity to save Krista but was unable to do it. She has a back and forth with Officer Savaho resulting in them telling her to go home. But what is Jackie doing? Is Jackie just going home laying down? No, Jackie is messed up. Yeah, she So she's emotionally distraught mm -hmm. and she's right. looking for somebody to She's looking to save to, something. Yeah. And she's yeah. and her emotions have got her so tied into this thing that, ladies and gentlemen, Jackie's not going home. So now that she she can't save Krista, mm -hmm. now her her mission in life is to make sure that um, Frank Frank stays behind jail. Exactly. So that's her new mission. And this show is also showing you what happens to a lot of addicts when they get clean, then they relapse, and then they feel like they need to overcompensate and do something good. They, they venture out for other sources to soothe that pain. And Jackie's not the only addict on this show that's spiraling out of control, especially in this episode. Number four WTF moment. Frankie finds out from his son that Renee is getting a little too close. To Uncle Ray. To Uncle Ray because... <laughs> Ray gave the son an iPad and Frank wants to know what is he doing around the son. Honey, uh -huh. what did that tell you about Renee? I mean, she only doing what Frankie asked her to do. Oh, he no. He put her up to it. He put her up to it, but he didn't put her up to have feelings involved mm -hmm. and have her have her have Ray around her child officer save a hoe. Uh-huh. He didn't put he didn't well, want, he didn't be careful want her. what you ask for. <laughs> he should have thought about that. No, 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 no. Then he called her a whore and said a whore would have done it. Then he said, no, you're not a whore. A whore would at least got more information. She ain't got nothing. She got information. She just ain't sharing it with him. Right. <laughs> and at the very end of that, she storms out of there basically telling him to kiss her you know what. Yeah, she ain't the little girl looking at him with doe eyes no more. No, no. no. She's so. a grown woman. She and uh, she ain't taking orders from him no more. Yep, this might be the end of that relationship. Number three WTF moment. Junior and his addiction problems is spiraling out of control. He actually shows up to a room full of these God of War looking steroid bodybuilders looking to get beat up, charge him too much for the drugs, and what did they do, honey? They gave him all the smoke he wanted. They gave him what he wanted. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean... He's tore up from what he what he was involved in with Krista. Krista. Yeah, you could tell he he was rooting for. Her. Basically, when they were having that discussion in the hotel room, he was he had related to her on a, a level that because they were both addicts, addicts. right? Yeah. And so mm -hmm. he saw that she was trying to do well. Um, he didn't want to kill her. She died, and now he's dealing with those demons of having killed somebody. Exactly. And so now it's. You know, self destruction. Exactly. And I'm not doing drugs, but I'm going to incite people to, to beat me up so I can have some type of physical pain for right. this emotional pain that I'm yeah. feeling. And that smile when he got his ass beat up by those 
gay bodybuilders was just that that was excruciating tell you everything that he right. did that's what he wanted mm -hmm. he wanted he wanted to feel pain now yeah and he got the pain mm -hmm. number two wtf moment officer saber ho decides to pull aceto in for questioning way early in the investigation they don't have enough info on him mm -hmm. he's tried to intimidate aceto and Aceto shows y'all he plays chess, right. not checkers. Exactly. What'd you think? What, what, what was your I, thoughts on that? I didn't think he was going to get nowhere with Aceto. Of course not. Uh, and Aceto gave him nothing. Nothing. <laughs> and I enjoyed every minute of Officer Saberho getting his ass handed to him because they overplaying this cop. Uh -huh. They overplaying him like he's some super hot, macho, tough guy. And he just got his ass slapped in the face. Uh -huh. And I loved every minute of it. Even though Aceto is the, the quote unquote bad guy. In the this, antagonist. The antagonist in this film, in this right. movie. I mean, in this TV show. I like him. Yeah, he alright. <laughs> he alright. He alright. And then that little back and forth he about, was, you he know. He cool like that. Yeah, he that good. you like a biggie. He you like a biggie, biggie small. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, ladies and gentlemen, the number one WTF moment. Jackie at the very end finds out that Junior or his dad is involved in the drug game or the missing body or dumping the body of Krista's friend. Mm -hmm. Wow. Did, did you think that was going to play this this early or save it for the very end? Honestly, I didn't know where it was going to come in, but you knew eventually she was going to figure out that Junior mm -hmm. had something to do with it. Right. I and mean, now she needs to piece two and two together that he was acting weird. She asked him, like, why are you acting so weird? Right. And, and, mm -hmm. and why are you attacking me when we just having a regular conversation? Exactly. Um, and now she see that his boat was the only boat that went out that day and came back in. Yep. It, actually, it was two, but his boat was one of the two mm -hmm. from um, P-Town that went out there mm -hmm. and came back in. So um, I'm just interested in how they're going to play that dynamic. Personally, I think Junior is going to die. And Jackie's has to keep going on, but I think Junior is going to die somehow, some way. Or they might band together to keep Frank in jail, and then Aceto might sacrifice Junior or something to that effect. Mm -hmm. But I think it's going to still end with Frankie getting out of jail. Now, there are some some pieces of this of this show that I don't know where they're going to go with it. Mm -hmm. So one of them is, um, what was Jackie's motive for going to meet up with Frankie and rub it in his face that she's about to... That was going to be my honorable mention. Okay. So honorable mention, Jackie goes to jail, meets Frank. But I think her motivation with that is, like you said, she's trying to soothe that itch. That, that itch from being burnt by Krista dying. But does she want him to come after her for some reason? Like, is she a, a, trying to set him up somehow? I think or? this is her looking for pain the same way Junior is looking for it. Just get into the face of danger mm -hmm. and keep the rush of that danger. But I like that exchange. She told she hope he gets anal cancer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, those were our WTF top five. If you're not watching Hightown, I don't know what you're doing. It is an excellent show. Be sure to check it out. Subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to like the video. Comment, subscribe. Get yourself that life game. My wife has another piece she wants to add real quick. <laughs> Go ahead. What are, are they going to do with the um, young lady that's at Aceto's relative's house? I can't think of her name. But the black the, girl? The black girl. That's at like, the uncle's house. Yeah, that's good, nosy. Good with numbers. Mm -hmm. She's helping the, the uncle win the drug game. And she's very nosy. Yeah, she's we, always in the background right. listening when stuff is going on. We don't know what that what they're going to do with that young lady. We think that she could flip. They're featuring her for some reason. Yeah, they're showing her too much. And the thing is, what is she going to... She might mess around, kill the uncle, and team up with Aceto. Hmm. But if she was to do that, Aceto is not the cat that's stupid enough to believe that you're just doing this out of the goodness of your heart. How am I going to trust you if you do it to me? But they're showing that you're setting that young lady up for something, ladies and gentlemen. And we're just going to have to keep watching to see. Maybe when Frank, I'm telling you, Frankie's getting out of jail. She might team up with Frankie. 